Thank you, Carl. The Weather Channel is tracking the storm live from Maryland's eastern shore. Let's go ahead and get right to meteorologist Mike Seidel. And Mike, we know that you're getting beatered and battered around all over there because of the high winds. You would think there's a tropical system moving through, but there isn't. So how are you holding up? I'm, I'm doing okay. I've got my back to the wind this time, so it's a little easier keep the hood up to keep the sand from just blasting you away. It, it really stings up here. Uh, sustained winds are still running up around 30 miles an hour and gusts nearly 40. So we're gusting to about tropical storm force. And a big change on the beach in the past day or so because we've had now three high tides. The tide beginning to go out a little bit. It was high in the past half an hour. But you can see the beach here. Well, you can't see much of the beach because the water has eclipsed the entire beach. Now, yesterday we had the surf fishermen out here with the vehicles, and they were out a good 25 or 30 yards. Today, they'd be uh, swamped. In fact, we've got a couple of deep sea fishermen out here right now trying to catch some fish, but the actual uh, competition, they've canceled the morning session because they couldn't get their vehicles on the beach because the beaches are pretty much underwater. But we've got some fishermen out here wading into the water. We had one guy just a few minutes ago up to his waist. Another thing we've noticed is over here, we'll kind of open up the shot here and come over to uh, where the sand is. And uh, this uh, sand has been pushed up and also just rearranged and deposited by the very gusty winds. And the surf, you notice, is still very, very rough, running at about 8 to 10 feet, some 12 footers. The waves are breaking way out there, coming in and just taking the sand towards the south. Remember, on the east coast, we have a longshore drift from north to south. When you got a northeast wind that just grabs the sand and pushes it down towards the south, now the jetties will pick it up, and then eventually some of it gets deposited on Astatig Island. Although it is very windy today, we'll have some showers here. The heaviest rain staying are south now. Tomorrow's going to be a much better day with temperatures about 70, partly cloudy skies, and winds tomorrow only running. 10 to 15 miles an hour. So tomorrow, pretty nice. Today, not so nice. Yeah, not so good right now. And Mike, are there planned events going on right now? And what's the latest on the cancellations or things like that? Well, as far as the mid-Atlantic surf fishing, yesterday and today, yesterday's morning session canceled, this morning's morning session canceled. They're going to try to uh, get together at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Also, the Hot Rod Car Show in town, the uh, Easy Cruise and Summer Car Show. There's 1,500 cars in town from the 40s right up to the 70s and 80s, all souped up. They were supposed to have a parade this morning, but they're still uh, in town, and they'll continue their events at the Inlet parking lot tomorrow. Better day than down there tomorrow, too. Yeah, they're not going to need a car wash today. Thank you very much, Mike, and we will talk to you again very soon.